welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be bringing you some more Unreal engine 5 uh matrix awakening demo gameplay and performance but there have been some changes now shout out to sk hijinks for sending me the link i'm not too sure who compiled this um standalone version but props to them whoever it is sorry i don't know who you are to give you credit but let's just get into the details so you can now go into options select your resolution you can now select settings you want in terms of dlss i want to choose the quality preset and of course other settings like fov lumen time of day pretty much everything you could expect from a normal game is available for you to toggle so i think dlss is uh, an amazing implementation on Unreal Engine 5 especially for this demo specifically because it just cleans up the image so nice there was quite a lot of noise and rough edges um, even at native 4k but uh, with DLSS it just looks better than native in my opinion and I want to show you some instances as well where it looks better now some of you may have driven around in cars and I don't know if you've taken the time to actually just pad around but if you look at the wheels or the rims in particular there's a lot of noise around the rims so it's like really aliased um, but if you look at it now it's really cleaned up a lot better and that's due to DLSS that's working wonders and um, it just looks absolutely stunning of course and uh, with DLSS you get a slight performance boost in quality not so much but if you put it to like balanced or performance you can pretty much maintain 60 FPS with the occasional frame spike here and there. Now I've played this with my 5800X 3D, my 5950X and now I'm playing it with uh, my i9 12900K and um, honestly pretty much all CPUs perform very very similar. None of them can maintain 100% GPU utilization and uh, so you know it does seem to be some CPU bottlenecks still, still available here. But um, it's definitely doing a great job at 12900K of extracting the best out of the RTX 3090 Ti. So don't need to worry about um, pedestrians as you can uh, just drive straight through them. What I'm going to do now is uh, let's go straight to night time because you can just change time of day on the fly now. And um, you of course still have the old options as well. I'm just going to drop my OSD just to find what that is. So the original menu. You can still toggle uh, the crowd density, um, you know, how many cars are available. And you can also toggle um, how many parked cars. Now personally I wouldn't recommend putting the cars to maximum. You can barely drive around without bumping into anything anyway. So I'm going to put the crowd at least to 100% and I'll leave it there. So you can also go first person view as well, which is pretty cool. So for a lot of you, it's just more of the same. I know you've seen this demo probably a hundred times now. But um, with the implementation of DLSS and of course you can toggle the amount of lumen and mobile illumination that's being used, I thought it was worth checking out again. And uh, I also wanted to run it with my 12900K which I got recently just to see how how well it performed in this and it's doing a good job. Um, definitely keeping my RTX 3090 Ti GPU utilization in the high 90s. Um, not so many massive uh, drop-offs so pretty good but yeah I'm so excited for when we start getting some real Unreal, Unreal Engine 5 games it seems like a lot of developers are opting to go or port over to that now so we've heard uh, Tomb Raider obviously CD Projekt Red and um, a few others as well I've heard that I've gone over I just can't remember them by name right now so I think Unreal Engine 5 is going to have such wide adoption 
in the years to come that um, you know I never like to see anything get monopolized because it you know monopolies never really bring anything good but generally if we can get quality games on a whole and um, developers can really in, improve the engine even more because it's got so much widespread adoption then I'm all for it in this situation you know I want to get out and walk the street for a little bit I'll stop talking now and uh, you guys can just enjoy the music I guess <laughs> 